Hi. Once upon a time, there was a man called Smantony. I'm not using his real name to protect his identity. Smantony worked in a big firm in London, and every Friday in the summer, they got the afternoons off, and so most of them would go to the pub and have like a boozy lunch. And Smantony had a really, really boozy lunch one Friday. After several beers and probably a couple of whiskeys at around 4.30, which is of course probably the busiest time of day for commuting, Smantony had the wherewithal in his wastedness to realize that he probably should go home. So he headed to King's Cross or Waterloo to get his regional train back home because he lived outside of the city. Now he knew that train schedule like the back of his hand and he was gonna get on that train come hell or high water. And he ran as fast as he could. And unfortunately, he shit himself. It wasn't a light of the pants either. It was a big boy, like down both sides of the legs. But he had a plan. He remembered that at the station, there was a gap, the gap, and he ran into it. And rummaging through all of the perfectly folded pieces of clothing, he saw a pair of pants, grabbed it, paid for it, and out he went. All that was left to do was get those turdy trousers and boxes off and get these new trousers on. With seconds to spare, Smantony clawed his way onto the regional train. Even the toilet had a queue or line. Finally, it was his turn to use the toilet, and in he went. As carefully as a drunk person can do, he cleaned himself, removed the turdy trousers, and rolled everything up into a big ball, opened up the bathroom window, and threw everything out onto the tracks. As the train pulled out of King's Cross or Waterloo, I don't know which station it was, he opened up the gap bag to retrieve his new pair of trousers. All was not as it had appeared to be. For there, deep inside the navy blue paper gap bag, was no pair of trousers, but a white cashmere sweater, women's medium. As the train gained speed and somebody in the line outside knocked on the door and told him to fucking hurry up, Smantony realized the only way was through. Fortunately, cashmere can give a little, so he managed to get one foot into one of the arms and the other foot into the other arm, and he made a knot. And he took a deep breath and opened the bathroom door and walked out into the packed train, which was standing room only. Even this being England, the politest country on earth, not many people could avert their eyes from business on top, cashmere diaper downstairs. And it was about a 40 minute journey home. And then I think it was another 15 minute walk from the station to his house. And the moral of the story, never ever rent in the suburbs when you're under the age of 35 or 40. Look, Smantony's fine. He's married, he's got two kids and... Not that that's the answer to everything, okay? But my mum's gonna have tea with him next week, so that's nice.